May I now make this special announcement? As regards carrying on the legacy of putting out music, it is my pleasure and great honor to announce. Greetings and welcome back to the channel. My name is Klichi. I'm an advocate, singer, songwriter, performing artist, CEO, and founder at Klichi Records. And today I'm back with a video, this time round, on the record label business. And so if you're new here, please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any uploads, uploads that we'll be putting up on this channel. Otherwise, let's delve into it. So guys, what is a record label? See, the narrow definition of it is that a record label is a company that is involved in the, you know, management of the career of an artist. The wider definition of it is that a record label is a company that is involved in much more than just the management of an artist's career. A record label deals with production, uh, distribution, promotion, and publishing of an artist's career. And record labels have been around for as long as sound recording has lived. In fact, record labels started to emerge in the you know, late 1800s when you know, phonographs and phonorecords started to commercialize and allowed mass production. In the present day, um, record labels are categorized into three major types. Record labels are categorized into major record labels, subsidiary labels, and independent labels. Independent labels are also called the um, indie labels. Now, these major labels currently are simply called the big three. They are as follows. Universal Music Group, Sony Music Entertainment, and Warner Music Group. Uh, Universal Music Group is made up of the following affiliates. We have Universal Music Africa, where Saudi Soul is signed to. We have Young Money Entertainment, which was founded by Lil Wayne, and where Nicki Minaj and Drake are signed to. We have Cash Money Records, which, is founded by which was founded by Badman. We have Motown Records, where Michael Jackson was first signed to as a young boy of 12 years old. There is Def Jam Records, where Rihanna was first, first signed to by Jay-Z, who was the president at the time. We have Aftermath Entertainment, which was founded by Dr. Dre, and which produced uh, uh, such artists as Kendrick Lamar, 50 Cent, Buster Rhymes, and Eve. Sony Music Entertainment is made up of the following subsidiary labels. We have Epic Record, where until his death, Michael Jackson was signed to. We have RCA Records, we have Columbia Records, and AI Records, which is a Kenyan company. Warner Music Group on the other side is made up of the following subsidiary labels. labels. We have OVO Records, which is uh, founded by Drake. We have Maverick Records, where Madonna was signed, and Nansach Records. Uh, the list is non-conclusive, but I just selected a few, for example. Now, every other label that is not a major record label is, a, is an independent or indie label. Independent labels are simply the small and medium enterprises of the record industry. These are record labels that operate without the support and financing of ma major record labels. You know, and most artists begin their career by signing into independent labels with the hope of getting a major, you know, uh, signing into a major record deal or a, a record label. And many artists have. Um, Tiwa Savage came from Marvin Records, which is founded by Don Jazzy, to sign with Universal Music Group. Our very own Saudi Soul came from Peña Africa to sign with the same Universal Music Group. You're probably aware that Diamond Platinum's of WCB Records has now signed a 360 you know, deal with Warner Music Group. 
And you're probably now asking, why is it important for an artist to sign, you know, to sign up with a record label? You see, from a fan's perspective, you only see the interesting part, and that is the music. But behind the scenes, there's so much that goes until that music is released for your consumption. An artist has to deal, you know, with the issue of quality production. An artist has to, you know, think about distribution. An artist has to think about, you know, uh, 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 promotion and publishing. And so, when an artist signed into a label, then the burden of the music business is lifted off their shoulder so that the record label is now concerned with the issue of, you know, such things as production, such things as, as, as distribution, you know, live shows uh, and concerts, uh, radio tours, and even merchandising. And make no mistake, there's so much that goes into signing into a label. And I don't want to delve into that for now because I'm only you know, laying a foundation for this discussion. But other than the inter, uh, you know, independent record labels that I've mentioned, there is an independent record label that I must talk about. And this sets the stage for my special announcement you know, today. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell you about Clichy Records. Uh, briefly speaking, Clichy Records Kenya Limited, or simply Clichy Records, is a record label that is based in Nairobi, Kenya, which was established in the year 2016 with a view to revolutionize the entertainment industry, you know, in the country, uh, 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 in, in the region, and globally. And you'll soon see what I'm talking about. Now, for the past five years, we have been you know, setting up the foundation and structures that will enable us to provide forward-thinking, forward holistic services to our signed artists in the areas of production, management, and music publishing. Our passion is music. We have lived and breathed it for as long as we can remember. We have carried the same, you know, passion into the scope of what, you know, in the scope of our operation. And so, here is my special announcement, and I will read a small statement. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, as a new entrant in the entertainment scene, we recognize how far the industry has grown to be where it is today. We recognize the valuable contribution of every hero who gave up all they had to focus on this industry. In particular, we recognize the pioneer stakeholders such as Ted Josiah of AudioVault, Stroke Blue Zebra Studio, who discovered them and mentored pioneer artists such as Hudson, Kalamashaka, Gidi Gidi Maji Maji, Necessary Noise, Nameless, Atemi, Shilamonyiga or Nikki, among others. We recognize the valuable contribution of Francis, Lucas, and Banda of Ogopa DJs in giving us Kapuka or the Boomba sound that was well articulated by the artists including Issa k Rapt, May God Rest Their Souls, Red Sun, Nameless Once Again, Mr. Lenny, Mr. Googs, Vinnie Banton, Amani, Kleptomaniacs including Nyashinsky, Kolo and Roba among others. We recognize the priceless contribution by Clemo, Juakali and Nonini whom together founded Caliph Records. They gave us Genge music, which was done justice by their artists such as Flex, Pili Pili, Jim Watt, Lady S, May God Rest Her Soul, Ratatat, Mahatma, among others. Shout out to Musioka of Decimal Records for you know, giving us talent that is P-Unit. Jomini Records, including Kenrezi and the entire Jipuka Nation. Sub-Sahara for giving us Camp Mula, and the list is endless. At Klitsch Records, we intend to build on these legacies even though we appreciate that this, the shoe might be too big to fit in. As I speak now, the industry faces unprecedented challenge of a pandemic that has destroyed business opportunities, killed scores, and left many fighting for their lives. On to the specific challenges that faces the industry, 
We are alive to the threat of music piracy, underpayment of artists, lack of sufficient airplay on mainstream media, among others. We recognize the contribution of those activists that gave their all to fight these ills. We recognize Poxy Pressure, may God rest his, his soul, Nonini, Nameless, Rafton, and Ringtone. They say it is darkest before dawn. As a new generation, we owe it to these legends to continue making music and jealously guard this industry. We must equally keep educating artists of their rights in intellectual property, including copyright, and this is what we do here at Clichy Records. May I now make this special announcement. As regards carrying on the legacy of putting out music, it is my pleasure and great honor to announce this Tuesday, the 12th of October 2021, that Clichy Records shall put out its first commercial single release on Friday, the 22nd of October 2021, at 8 p.m. East African time. This commercial release shall feature Kichi, which is me. Now, come Saturday, 27th of November, 2021, Kichi Records shall unveil its first artist to the public, the climax of which shall be another commercial single release. For more information, I hereby encourage you to follow us on our social media handles at Kichi Records and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Dear fans, if there is a lesson we have had to learn in a bid to put out this oncoming body of work, then it is that of patience, persistence, and perseverance. It is my hope, and that of every, everyone here at Clichy Records, that you may be able to appreciate these virtues through our music. Enjoy. Enjoy.